When Josh and Christy Terrio vowed to be there for each other in sickness and in health, they had no idea her health would turn out to be the cure for his sickness. It was just shocking news. Shortly after they were married, Josh's body began rejecting a transplanted kidney he received from his sister in 2008. I felt great for those years, and then, of course, once it starts to go down, you just you can feel your body just slowly going down. For Josh, the only alternative to a lifetime of dialysis was another transplant. So the couple began searching for new doctors and new donors willing to give Josh a second chance with another kidney. The Terrios found the care and the comfort they desperately needed at SSM Health St. Louis University Hospital. The doctors are fantastic. Uh, I mean, the staff, everybody, the coordinators, everybody just, it's more like a family than it is, you know, going anywhere else. We had people that wanted to donate and then they all backed out. And so I went and got tested, went through all of it. I was at work one day and I got a phone call that I was a match. I started crying. It was exciting. I had no idea that I would be. My wife was willing and ready to step up and do it, but the, there for the longest time, I, was, I didn't really want her to, I don't know can't really say what it was or why. He finally gave in and let me be a donor. And in February 2017, one week before Valentine's Day, a part of her became a part of him. The surgery is actually not complicated. The outcomes are fantastic. And if it is some loved one or a close friend, the satisfaction the donor will get is instant and they will never regret doing such a great deed. Living donations also give patients like Josh the ability to bypass being put on the waiting list for a kidney from a deceased donor. On average now, there's over 100,000 people waiting in the United States for a kidney transplant. Um, less than 20,000 will be transplanted this year. And every day, 13 people waiting for a transplant die. Living donated kidneys specifically um, tend to work quicker, tend to work better, and tend to work longer. So that allows um, the potential recipients to not only have an extended life, but also an extended quality of life as well. I was scared for my wife, just, I mean, that's my wife, you know, I love her without, you know, my whole heart. Opening my eyes and seeing my wife standing there, I mean, that's just, that's a wonderful thing. And then, two months later, came another wonderful thing. After years of being told Josh was medically unable to father children, Christy became pregnant. A life created, thanks to a life saved. The whole transplant team and uh, just everybody that was there, they're compassionate and caring and uh, made us feel comfortable. Um, so we're very thankful for them that they gave us this chance.